Jen's daytime talk show has reached legendary status, and her guests have undoubtedly contributed immensely to this. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Ellen guests. My sweater is now up around here. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at people, celebrities, or otherwise that have appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show and managed to have us buzzing about them for weeks after the fact. Let's see the clip. No. <laughs> Number 10, Jennifer Aniston. These, these tabloids, all of us, need a, to take responsibility on, on what we in, ingest into our brains. Jennifer Aniston is a highly successful and gorgeous actress with decades of respected work under her belt. She'll forever be known as Rachel from Friends, however, and as this show fades into the past, we're eager for visits down memory lane. Aniston has appeared on Ellen several times, and her sitcom success is almost certain to come up in conversation, typically in a meta and hilarious fashion. Ellen is really nice. She's really funny. You're gonna do great. I know, I know. I just wanna know, is it scripted? Is it improvised? Yes. The two aren't afraid to broach serious topics as well, such as Aniston's rebuke of tabloid culture, which is as relevant now as it was 10 years ago. The chemistry's there, and we're sure for a good time when these two get together. And now that mat, I'm sure I knew, because that was I brought it on the first right, show, and then it kept kind of going missing for some reason. So I think I bolted it down one, one show. You did. Number nine, Sophia Grace and Rosie. Please welcome eight-year-old Sophia and five-year-old Rosie. <laughs> knows how to engage with celebrities like no other talk show host out there. But oftentimes, it's her younger guests that we love the most. Sophia Grace and Rosie are two young girls who have been on Ellen a number of times. Rosie, you look like you've... How... You, have you grown? Um, yes, I've grown one... half an inch in a month. Their favorite topic of conversation is Nicki Minaj. And we're lucky enough to hear their talented performances on the show from time to time. Perhaps the most electrifying moment with these adorable girls is when they were introduced to their hero. Even with this sensational moment well in the past, these guests are certain not to disappoint and more than likely leave us gushing over England's two most adorable children. Oh, you got my heart running away. Running away. Number 8, Jennifer Lawrence. I did something hilarious. And I was like, <laughs> what? She was like, I voted. And I was like, you voted for what? The Oscars. Since The Hunger Games, Jennifer Lawrence has become one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, and the Oscars are all but guaranteed to feature her on any given year. This star power may seem likely to make Lawrence appear out of touch, but her memorable appearances on Ellen assure us that this is not the case. Whether appearing alongside Chris Pratt after the release of Passengers, and engaging in charming banter, or simply relaying anecdotes about home life, Ellen knows how to bring out the best of this talented yet down-to-earth movie star. He's much, much nicer than me. He's Is he nicer than yeah, you? Yeah, he's like a hard worker, he has a good attitude, he's very positive. You don't have any of those things? No. <laughs> Number 7, Bruno Mars. <laughs> Setting aside his enormous musical talent, Bruno Mars has charisma levels that are off the chart. He could read ingredients off a cereal box to Ellen, and we'd still feel compelled to tune in. Instead, in the many guest appearances on Ellen's show, Bruno never shies away from hilarious pranks and reminding us that he's incredible with kids as well. Make a dragon, dragon one all the time, time man. man. Too hot. Hot, hot damn. Ellen loves her pranks, and he's more than happy to join in on the fun too. What's clear is that these two will never shy away from the topic on their minds, even if it's tough to discuss such as vocal criticisms of Bruno's Super Bowl performance. It doesn't take a fragrance. It's not about the tabloids. It's about you putting in the work, practicing every day, practicing your vocals, practicing your instrument, pra practicing songwriting. Number six, Steve Carell. Had I it. been the one to have induced that, not a good, good no. thing. Mm -mm. So just keep that in mind no. next time. How many times? <laughs> Since his days as the lovable yet socially inept boss in The Office, there's been no question about Steve Carell's prowess as a funny man. As the queen of pranks, it's hard to believe that anyone would be able to take Ellen on. But Steve's the guy for the job. I couldn't think of anyone better to share my 900th show with. Please welcome... I love you, oh, you. No, <laughs> It's not just prank wars that make these two perfect for hilarious entertainment but even the simple anecdotes such as asking a girl on a date. Hey, you know, if I were ever to ask uh, 
woman out, it would be someone like you, exactly like you. And she'd say, if a guy like you were ever to ask a woman like me out, I would definitely do that. With Steve's dry storytelling and Ellen's even drier commentary, they somehow manage to keep a straight face while the audience is left in tears. And that makes Steve a guest more than welcome to come back time and time again. You know like what when is, you were crawling here, wasn't that fun to crawl? It's so much fun because you know what? It's, it's a person at their very essence. Number five, Sofia Vergara. Boobs, boobies, and... Chimichangas. The stunningly beautiful Modern Family star has been on Ellen several times up to this point. Whenever these two get together, we know we're in for a treat. Ellen and Sophia found their niche long ago, and there is certain to be goofy games played whenever they get together on stage. Perhaps it's their competitive banter or the hilarious jokes that we love. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Oh, sexy, off learning. They tend to straddle the line between playful and hostile, and several misunderstandings are all but certain to ensue. When Sophia and Ellen sit down, it's nearly impossible not to have an ear-to-ear -ear grin by their segment's end. You have to smell a lot. You have to smell it or something? Yeah, you have to smell. You can, you can smell Antoch, but you have to see if you smell him. <laughs> no, very good, but no. Number four, Kai. Please welcome five-year-old Kai Langer. <laughs> There's plenty of eye candy to ogle at on Ellen's show, but no man will ever make our hearts melt like Kai Langer. He's made several appearances on the show up to this point, and cuteness levels have continually been off the charts. Perhaps it's that adorable fedora and his sweet comments toward Ellen that pique our interest, but his musical performances are what make him by far one of the best things about the show. I got the eye of the tide! Fire! Get the true one thing's for certain, this kid's gonna have to fight the ladies off with a stick in a few years. Oh no, she walking while I get so fuel. Number three, Taylor Swift. Okay, <laughs> let's let's talk about another irrational fear of yours. You you're scared of getting arrested. I'm I'm scared of getting framed. Ellen has perfected the art of subtly teasing a guest, and this impeccable talent fits perfectly with her frequent guest, Taylor Swift. Whether she's playing along or not, it's always fun to watch Ellen push Taylor's buttons, while Taylor fights to keep her composure. In fact, the subject matter of their conversations almost always appears to be rather absurd. The last person I kissed was blank. Like an eight-year-old kid in the audience last night. That is night. gross. <laughs> Whether they're discussing sea urchins or jamming on the guitar, these two are just so silly together, especially when you throw Zac Efron into the mix. Whether acknowledging the elephant in the room or satirizing a perceived image of Taylor, they have a formula that works quite well together. <laughs> Number two, Britney Spears. So people come to your show and you must see wild things. A lot of wild things. Like, you know, tattoos of my face on people's arms, which is really kind of crazy. Yeah. Ellen's anything but a one-trick pony. When she has a guest appear multiple times, they make sure to have more than one shtick to keep us entertained. Notably, Britney doing Gondam style was certain to break the internet and solidify her as a legendary guest on Ellen's show. <laughs> Years later, the two are happy to try new things together whenever Britney makes appearances on the show. This is perfectly exemplified in their mall shenanigans as the powerful, rich, and famous celebrities obtusely peruse the store, to a hilarious effect. These two together is a clear argument that Britney's celebrity days are far from over. Oh my god, it's a baby one! Ah, uh, take it! Okay! You can have it. Really? She's a celebrity, it's okay. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. <gasps> in a small saucepan. <laughs> Bring two cups of water to a boil. <laughs> Over medium-high heat, stir in oats. Which one of us is a better driver? And I think we both know. <laughs> well, here's the thing. If you ever let me drive, I, I think <laughs> that you would 
discover that I am actually the better driver. I have let she you. She drives so fast. I, I can't even tell you. I drive fast, but very safely. Number one, Ryan Gosling. Here's what I'm going to say. I don't know if you agree with me, but I would say that Ryan Gosling's the best guest we've ever had on the show. Ellen is a pro at teasing her guests, but there's one man who can dish it out right back at her. Whenever Gosling comes on the show, he has this far-off look in his eyes and his own idea of where the conversation should go. Just hanging out. Yeah, just have a we conversation. We don't like, take it seriously. No. You know? We're just people like, hanging out. Why don't people talk like this more often on talk shows? Maybe he thinks Ellen is mad at him. Maybe he wants to educate her on hydration. It goes without saying that Gosling's easy on the eyes. And he's proven himself as a funny guy in the past as well. But there's a synergy between these two that is greater than the sum of its parts. Ellen's one of the best talk show hosts out there, and Ryan knows how to bring out her best. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. It's so nice to see you. Do you agree with our list? Which Ellen guest is your favorite? I've been on this show eight times now, and I still remember Ellen hiding in the bathroom. For more charming top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Uh, do I win? Nothing.